When did you start feeling sick? Yesterday night. The ER at Swedish Covenant Hospital. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Dr. Andrew Costello examines Luis Cardenas, who says he can't breathe. <coughs> Let me get you some breathing treatments. We'll get you some steroids. We'll do a chest x-ray. Minutes later, a computer takes the doctor's orders, including a chest x-ray. OK, orders are done. And wirelessly connected technicians are on their way to the patient's room. In about 20 minutes, the x-ray is done in the electronic medical record, and anyone at a computer terminal in the ER can review it. Precious minutes saved when it's an emergency. The patient is a 21-year-old male who comes in complaining of an acute asthma exacerbation, period. No paper charts, taking notes, or complaints about doctors' handwriting in this ER. A speech recognition program turns the doctor's words into print. He also complains of cough, congestion. Which means patients like Lewis only explain their medical history once. Then it's in a record for anyone to read. In seven-year-old Aisha's room, workers alerted by a handheld device first check the girl's bar-coated wristband and then take blood. I'm going to add a test. That same barcode goes on her blood samples. And then everything is literally shot up to a second-floor lab. The average turnaround time is about 30 to 32 minutes for any testing that they'd order for chemistry. Where one of the busiest workers is a million dollar automated system doing hundreds of tests an hour. We place the tube on the line and that barcode that's on that specimen follows that specimen, stays with that specimen throughout the entire process. Lab manager Susan Dawson explains. It'll go from instrument to instrument and only stopping at the instruments where it needs actual testing done. A system that doesn't get tired, distracted, upset or overworked. And neither does the automated pharmacy where a nurse gets meds for Luis Cardenas. It dispenses the exact prescription in the electronic medical record, and at bedside, a nurse scans his wristband Is your name Luis Cardenas? Yes. to see that it matches the barcode on the medicine, okay. preventing human prescription errors. Nasita Kwan for NBC News.